how do we apply the lessons we took from Puerto Rico? Well, I think Puerto Rico was uh, incredibly successful. Uh, Puerto Rico was actually our toughest one of all because it's an island, so you just you can't truck things onto it. Everything's by boat. Uh, we moved a hospital into Puerto Rico, a tremendous uh, military hospital in the form of a ship. You know that. Uh, and I actually think, and the governor has been very nice, and if you ask the governor, he'll tell you what a great job. Uh, I think probably the hardest one we had by far was Puerto Rico because of the island nature. And I actually think uh, it was one of the best jobs that's ever been done with respect to what this is all about. Puerto Rico got hit not with one hurricane, but with two. And the problem with Puerto Rico is their electric grid and their electric uh, generating plant was dead before the storms ever hit. It was in very bad shape. It was in bankruptcy. Uh, had no money. It was largely, you know, it was largely closed. And when the storm hit, they had no electricity, essentially, before the storm. And when the storm hit, that took it out entirely. Uh, the job that FEMA and law enforcement and everybody did, working along with the governor in Puerto Rico, I think was tremendous. I think that Puerto Rico was an incredible, unsung success. Uh, Texas, we have been given A-pluses for. Uh, Florida, we've been given A-pluses for. I think, in a certain way, the best job we did was Puerto Rico, but nobody would understand that. I mean, that's, it's harder to understand. It was a very hard, very hard thing to do uh, because of the fact they had no electric. Before the storms hit, it was dead, as you probably know. So uh, we've gotten a lot of uh, receptivity, a lot of thanks for the job we've done in Puerto Rico. The president, looking back, at Puerto Rico, saying that it was an unsung success, that it was very successful, talking about um, the praise they received after that hurricane hit for the administration's response, which frankly, Brooke, just isn't the case here. It actually has been widely criticized because, of course, at first, the death toll was in the dozens, and then it was raised to roughly 3,000 people who died there in Puerto Rico. Now, of course, that's not that shocking that the president made those comments because just last week, he was praising the way his administration responded to Puerto Rico. And of course, we know that in the past, he said he believed that they had responded, that he would grade that response as a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10, saying that they did a good job. That is simply not what a lot of people and a lot of experts who look at this situation would say.